Okay, so this is Ivy Jordan. Um, Moss Rose, but she is nude because that was a lot less money and I'm gonna undress her anyway. And if you're interested and you look up, uh, thanks doggy. If you look up that doll, you'll see it's kind of bland outfit. I didn't hate it, hate it. I just didn't want to pay $100 more to have the outfit and mint in box. So this is a fabulous. I'm not gonna make you look that up on your own. There it was what she looked like in the beginning. It's okay. Fabulous. Way of doing it. Oh, oh pop card. Okay. Oh, okay. So, P Town 70, I won't say his name, added a beautiful gold, gold dress. Is this gold sensation? The bubble dress? I think it is. Let's do a quick peek. Thank you, sir. <gasps> what a beautiful. Wow, I'm not quite sure which one this is. Part of it, look at, thank you. <laughs> She's gonna look beautiful. He didn't want her to be nude. <laughs> what a darling you are and how exciting. I can't wait to, uh... I, I had to open it first and my daughter's friend is not here yet. So then I can inbox you and tell you that it's here. Oh. I think I gotta change the blade on this. Oh, oh. Okay. I don't know. We haven't done this in a while, right, Grace? No, I'm just excited and I can't talk. Oh, now remember, she's an integrity. Oh, no, that Who makes it? Which means it's not Ashton Drake, which means it's articulated. Grace hasn't paid much attention, and what she doesn't know is these are very much pricier. I'm gonna get anime now. Oh. That's right. So the Jason Wu and Jason Wu and Integrity took it over. Oh my goodness, I don't know what's going on. They had articulated. Okay, we're getting closer to her face. So I can only have one of each articulated. So this was the one. And I chose this because of her dark hair. <gasps> it is almost black. It is black. Perfect. Look at, oh my goodness, she's pretty. Wow. Is that net on our bun supposed to be there? It's holding it there. These are uh, different kind of dolls, but Integrity, even the Barbie size dolls that are Integrity are uh, usually wrapped more. I am so excited. I wanted different colors on the ones I could have. And um, I, it looked black to me. This is why I picked this particular, I particular Ivy out of all of them. Um, but the description said, not in the eBay, the description on um, Wiki fandom said dark brown. That's, that's definitely black. So she will be, oh, look at me, I'm so excited. She's beautiful. Wow. So I'm going to check now this. Yeah, I haven't checked the molds. I haven't figured it out. I figured out two are the same that I don't have, but, um. Wow, look at that. She is beautiful. I am so glad with this choice out of all. I'm glad and thankful for the seller. I'm more happy with how she came. Oh, her joints are appear perfect. So she will work just wonderfully on a um, stand. I'm not talking much, am I? What do you think of this doll, Grace? I don't know. Not for your taste, but in terms of seeing something dollish that's i think these are these are 15 and a half inches Dog's a different off. thing from what we're used to Stop. oh i love her she's beautiful and once again to that person the wonderful seller p town 70 thank you very much and um i love her and i love the transaction and uh I'm repeating myself, and I can't wait to dress her, but Grace's got a friend over, so she's going to have to wait to get some clothes on, and now i got to find a space to put her in. I still haven't found a bigger cabinet. It'll come in time. Wow. Gorgeous. Yes, this was Gold Sensation, as you can see. It's got the inner part, which you can almost not tell. It's awesome in here. The shawl, you can't even see. So this was cool. It's almost like a whole different outfit. I thought the bubble was just a little bit weird, so I'm not disappointed about that. Her shoes are really cool. I come with this though. 
I find this kind of interesting. So they had to change the name <laughs> because of copyright infringement. Interesting. So, loving it. Loving, loving. I actually have it on my wish list too. <laughs> I love that. I love this. Okay, so our beautiful Miss um, Ivy Jordan is waiting for some clothes. I was reading in that book there that I might be repeating myself about that um, jeans, this book here, that um, jeans started selling out of Barbie Bazaar. And um, I might repeat about this book, I think. I forget what order I'm in. Maybe I thought I was in order. I don't know. I'm still trying. You are going to see this outfit here coming up really soon is... Um, I got on that lady I talk about that right there that's incognito that's so neat just a nice detail but I got Barbie Bazaar and I want to see the uh, I never paid attention but apparently the jean outfits and or well when she was first sold advertisements are there can't wait to check it out also go won this auction awesome for $15 for Miss Madra the girl in the sauce not really I just I'm having a fun time saying that because she's a bit floppy I want her to sit on a chair so I don't have to worry about her dropping it's not a problem that she's floppy, but I just don't want to take any chances. So I got that and that showed up and I'm super excited about it. Except because I was unfamiliar with how it would be in the box, there was this piece broken off and I fi before I even fully opened it, I went, oh no, this chair is busted. The seller was really good and told me to continue opening it up, have a peek, and she ended up refunding me half. So I got this for $8. This chair, it's right here, and I was able to glue it, and um, it's good for now. So she's wobbly, her chair's wobbly, but together it's all coming together. And she has a story behind her that she became or wanted to become a director. So um, that's the dog decides to eat right now. I can't believe it. <laughs> hasn't eaten hours in all day she's been stubborn but now she's eating so I'm just gonna keep talking so that looks good next what I figured out now I don't think I've mentioned it but if you're not on a doll nudity just delete me it's a doll it's plastic I it just is what it is and I'm telling the story as it is I did not dress her and get her ready and do much because she wasn't fitting on the stand well without shoes as is normal with saddle shoes so I got these, which is just like the ones I used for my Barbie and Monster High, but bigger. And that'll hold them at the waist. And although they're a little slippery, what it's going to do is give me confidence with her without shoes. And I don't have shoes for that gold sensation. Yet. <laughs> Those shoes are really cool. So um, I'm going to use this instead. And then get her dressed and put her in. Finally about to dress one of these dolls in some clothes. It's kind of exciting for me because... I've been getting ready and prepared and display and shopping, so I haven't done it. But I wanted to share this maybe anal, anally retentive thing with you with my OCD and that this is mine and an adult thing. And um, see, I didn't want to mess up hers or their hair because Madra's always already got a little messed up. I can fix it. I just don't want to. I want to leave it as is for now and as long as it can be. And when I dress, I don't want to get dog hair and dust and everything. Um, yeah, you can definitely tell the difference in how I am. So with this line and um, enjoying it and I don't know, man, these, these clothes are fabulous, friends. I mean, I don't want, I just, I don't know. I'm spoiled and I'm spoiling the clothes and I'm taking care of what I got. And <laughs> it's just me being me too, crazy dolly. So what I did was luckily I had some coupons from Joanne, some text coupons, 50% off. Went and got this, it's actually dress lining. And it's a little bit shiny, but not quite satin. Satin can get very expensive. And um, I was able to get a yard for like $4. So I cut some pieces so that I can dress on it. So when she slides around, just like when we don't want to mess up her hair, we use a satin pillowcase. Same concept. And um, keep it clean. Keep the dog hair doesn't stick to it either. So that's just going to be my little thing as um, part of my little play for these dolls. So finally, I hope that helps you or anybody. And uh, I picked the color to go, I got a little water on it. I picked the color to go with the jean silver screen thing. And uh, now I'm going to get her dressed finally and put her in the case. Finally, Miss Ivy Jordan is uh, getting dressed. She's an exhibitionist. She's my exhibitionist. Her eyelashes truly went a little wonky. This is a before. The next is a before. It might have been the way I opened the package because I don't think they were like that in the... Um, listing either way if you've seen my other video 
it's easy enough to fix and this is an after and this is an after and I mean it took me five minutes check out that video if you'd like to know how the eyelashes were fixed there we go now she is safe and sound and I have nothing to worry about about her dropping did I tell you someone told me same person who sold this doll to me told me about dropping them I don't want to drop these dolls because they can break just like other dolls and uh, this makes me feel much better on that stand and um, seeing that the dress is kind of short and shows her shoes, which is great. I think I'm gonna order the shoes and find those. Okay, well they might just be on the way, okay? And uh, as you can see, Zeta also, because her shoes, remember in her um, st review story, started to disintegrate. So, um, hence why she's sitting and probably, as a matter of fact, when I got those stands, I got three uh, used. So she'll be on the stand when I sort this out and have more room. And uh, now she looks beautiful. I hate that harsh light, but it has to do for now. Grace is going to try and be as loud as she can just to be annoying what? and video bomb me. Oh, yeah, whatever. I just talked to myself. Like, you know, just because. In the proper light, it's nice to know that her skin is slightly different from Zeta's. So that just adds to the dimension of the diversity in the dolls. So, um, yes, definitely welcome this. Hi V Jordan, and um, we were right. This Hi. outfit looks really good on her eyes. I love it. And um, as you can tell from the other one, I'm far pleased with this. I have no qualms. I'm not going to be a, if I get mitten box, it's good, but I'm not going to be a mitten box or try to gather everything perfectly. I want to have fun with these, as um, Mel Odom said was meant to be for them. Play and dress and not just keep them all packed away. Hope you've enjoyed this and um, are enjoying this journey with me. If you aren't, well, sorry, just being me. As I hope you will always be you and collect the dolls that you love too. See you next time. Oops, wait a minute. Here's a little addition that I think should be in the story with this since we started it here. Barbie Bazaar, I went through all these. These were in my garage. I've had them forever when I liked Barbies. I never even noticed this stuff in here. So I went through them all and here they are. Here's the ads. I've marked them all for Jean Marshall. There's outfits I have and I'm so excited to see these and now I'll be able to go back and look at what's going was going on then and even learn more. I just love learning more. So here I will quickly just give you this was a year's subscription. I never got more. Look at there's um goddess, blue goddess. And she's there. Yeah. What else is going on there? That must have been all that was in this one. That one book I told you tells a very interesting story about how this uh, Barbie Bazaar was pivotal to her success. Um, and that's really cool. Just so neat. Um, I love a story. A story is so good. And um, now I've got this in addition, little did I know. So there's the pinup. And you know, I got that. Did you see the, I think it was the kiss was over there on the left hanging up. Um, look at the trunk, the trunk. <laughs> beautiful trunk we got a story about the trunk coming up i think and um yeah look at blonde lace I, i'm starting to know these names and that's really cool i have just love this backstory it's there's so much to it and i'm blabbering and here we are and that's red venus one of the first ones that was on the front of that book and it's beautiful and everything's beautiful of course but what a delight that's the point is what a delight to have these in addition to my story on this jean marshall mel odom dolls too cute too neat i felt like a little girl running into my garage to pick these out of where I'd save them. Now, I have told you a long time, this was in here, I told you a long time ago, the most expensive doll I've ever bought, still to this day, was the backtracking on the 1988 Happy Holidays Barbie. Here is the ads in my notes from back then when I was calling. We didn't have the internet then, young people. We looked at ads like this. I was obviously looking for this bull doll and to tell you the tru truth, I'm not really sure if this is where I got that particular doll. I don't think so. But anyway, here is just a good laugh 
and a good memory to see I was hunting even then for a good price. This was the ad. She doesn't have it on there, but that was, I asked her about, look, it can't sleep insomnia. I even mentioned to you that back in the day because I did have horrible insomnia. I don't sleep good. And I asked her, do you have Happy Holidays 1988? She did. We had a prize. It wasn't as expensive because it was an international box. So I got a little bit of a deal even then. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed this story, guys and girls. See you next time.